I was born in Ghana, and I moved into this country when I was about five years old. Um, I first moved to this country, I was living in Portland, Oregon. My father was going to um, Pacific University, and he ended up getting kicked out of college after our second year here. So then he basically had to get dropped out, but him dropping out of college was going to mean we were basically legal here illegally. I ended up moving to Jersey. My mom couldn't work. I couldn't work. Like, we had our own place, but it was like we couldn't even, we weren't even eligible for like no section A, no nothing. You couldn't get no type of help or nothing like and So my mom like basically had to like keep asking people for help and stuff like that, and I got tired of seeing that. So I just started selling drugs slowly, and then I was able to do what I can and they to take care of my family. And when one day, well, I got my girlfriend pregnant, but one day she went to work. I ain't had no drugs to sell. I was sitting for about two weeks. I started getting panic. I started panicking though, cause I didn't want to run out of money, and I had no money to make more money, and I'm about to have a son soon. So I told my girlfriend to go pick up some drugs for me to come when she was coming home from work, so I could sell. But the regular person I had to get drugs from wasn't there, so I gave it someone else to go get it from. When she went, the person basically beat her for the money. He ran off, he didn't give her nothing. She came home and told me what happened, so I called him. I tried to like resolve it and see if he was going to give me back the money and sign. He didn't. And I was at the time I was um I was heavy on prescription pills. Like I just take them to like kind of like numb whatever thoughts I had going on or whatever like worries I had going on. So I was high at the time. I was off like Xanax pills. And I was on the phone with him, and he just kept getting loud. I just remember myself keep getting, I just kept getting mad. I hung up the phone. I went and got a gun. And my uncle had gave me, because when I started selling drugs, he told me I was always going to need to protect myself. But I never really thought I was going to need to use it or nothing like that till that day, because I was mad. And so um, I told my girlfriend to get in the car, because she knew where he lived. I didn't know where he lived. And I told her to drive me there. I was high. I wasn't thinking. Like, she's pregnant, you know put in this situation. And she took me there. I ended up shooting a guy. And we got caught. And I got sentenced for it. She came home on bail. Ended up getting sentenced for it. Altogether, I did five years before I came home. And my son was born while I was incarcerated. I missed, I missed everything. I missed his birth, his first words, his first steps. And that, like, it meant a lot to me though, cause and my turning point was when it was the first day he was born, and it really had to hit home. Like I'm not dead. He doesn't have his mother or his father with him, cause it's something I did, and that's not fair to him, cause it's his first day in the world, and he can't have his mother or dad there, cause I wouldn't be selfish. So that right there, did something. I had to start thinking before I made choices. I had to tell myself I gotta think. You know, it's not anything I do now is gonna affect them. It's not just about me no more. I got a son to take care of. So that's what really started getting me to think before I act.